called now to Saeed Nazir from the Sheffield chapter of Ahmadi Muslims. He's actually in Alton in Hampshire this morning, uh, where more than 40,000 Ahmadi Muslims have gathered this weekend for a convention promoting peace and harmony. He's on the line this morning. Good morning, Saeed. Uh, good morning. How are you? Not too bad. Thank you for asking. Good to have you with us. First of all, I mean, your reaction to the murder of Assad Shah, you must have been totally disgusted by it. Oh, yes, it is. I mean, it was brutal and uh, it is not at all acceptable um, in any part of the world, um, you know, um, murdering anyone for the sake of religion. Uh, we, especially in, in this day and age, uh, where freedom of religion is what should be, uh, you know, accepted by everyone. Mm. As I mentioned a second ago, Saeed, his killer claimed that he had disrespected Islam in messages posted on social media. Had this killing made other Ahmadis fearful and, and, and less likely to talk about their faith, do you think? Uh, yeah, to be honest, I think a real individual, like as an Ahmadi, uh, we, we are not feared with anything. Uh, we are a very peaceful uh, community and uh, we are the ones who are uh, truly uh, following the religion of Islam. Now, because of these few uh, people who have uh, murdered uh, and caused uh, all this extremism, they give a bad name to the religion. And uh, they, you know, they are not, they are not following the right, right path and the right religion, and just giving the bad name. Can you, can you just explain to me, Sai, then why the views of Ahmadiyya Muslims are considered blasphemous by Orthodox Muslims? Uh, the, the only reason is because, you know, as you know, that they are, they are very established in, 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 in Islam, and uh, so is in Christianity and other religions as well. And uh, we, as Ahmadi Muslims, believe that the promised Messiah, or you could say the Mahdi, uh, who was to uh, come after Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the reformer, you could say, uh, is here, uh, and the other Muslims are still waiting for the reformer. Uh, we believe in the same Prophet. Uh, we believe uh, in, in the same Holy Quran. Uh, we believe in the same uh, book uh, which was revealed to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So our religion is the same. The only difference is that we believe in the reformer and you could say the, the promised Messiah, uh, or some people also say Mehdi, uh, and we say that the reformer is here. And our Imam uh, is Hazrat Mizar Ghulam Ahmed, uh, who came in Qadian. And after that, uh, they have been a, a proper uh, caliphate as well. And the, you know, and the current caliph, whose name is Hazrat Mizar Masarul Ahmed, uh, he resides in the UK as well. Uh, and, and today we all uh, would be doing the allegiance of that uh, behind him. Uh, yeah, it, it's going to be more than 40,000 people uh, 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 gathering in a, in a, in a, in a very uh, peaceful and, you know, community. And our motto is love for all, hatred for none. So, you know, this is, yeah, I just want to, I just want to ask you then, do you, can you understand, can you, can you accept that Orthodox Muslims just don't, um, don't respect your views? Uh, no, no, it's, it's, it's not at all acceptable. You know, now, now this, these, these persecutions are, are not the first time you're facing. Uh, but, you know, the strange thing is that in this country uh, where we live, uh, you know, the law and order, uh, the situation of law and order is far better uh, than the third world countries. Uh, so we were not, we were not, uh, you know, expecting this to happen here. To be honest, no, of course, of, of yeah, course not. Yes. Uh, if, if it's in the third world country, yes, because law and order over there is not good enough. But especially in this, uh, in this country, you could say that you know it was not at all uh, expected. So we were quite shocked, and you know we were, we were totally, you know, um, uh, disgusted with, with with what happened. Yeah. To express views though anywhere in the world in, in that way by by murdering someone is, is just not acceptable, is it? It's just not. Acceptable. I, I totally, I totally agree. You're in Hampshire, I mentioned, for this big gathering of uh, Ahmadiyya Muslims this weekend. Uh, how many of them are from South Yorkshire, do you know? Um, about, about, uh, from South Yorkshire, there will be about 800 people uh, who will be joining uh, for this gathering. Uh, this gathering happens uh, once a year, and it happens in Hampshire. Um, and this is the 50th uh, gathering in the UK, uh, so we are celebrating the 50th gathering. Are you going to be, are you going to be discussing widely what's happened over the past couple of days? Oh yes, we do. We, it's, it's basically it's not a discussion discussion of, of only current affairs, but also discussion of it's, a, it's, it's more like you have quite a lot of MPs, MEPs, mayors, and uh, all the dignitaries from all over the world. There are some kings coming from Africa, so it's not only it's not only quite, you know quite, to say restricted to to UK nationals. It's a worldwide uh, uh, gathering, 
and more than 209 countries would be represented. Yeah, uh, I, I mentioned, obviously, sorry to interrupt you there, but I just want to mention this. I know one of the topics for discussion is, is Islam, is, is Islam incompatible with British values? What's your take on that? I mean, how do you marry British values with Islam? Oh, we totally respect British values. No, we, we, the, the country we are living in, we need to respect the law and we need to respect the entire, uh, you could say, uh, the, the rules and regulations of the country we are living in. And that's what Islam teaches as well. Mm. Islam teaches to respect uh, the, the law and order situation.